Well, hello everybody, how are you doing? Hope you are having a great week. As I am filming this, it is hot out. It is in the 90 degrees. You're gonna hear the air conditioner running in the background. I hope you're staying cool on these last few days of summer before school starts back up again. So happy that you're watching our kids' message, our kids' song for today. Past few weeks, we have been talking about Joseph and the story of Joseph in the Old Testament. And so let's see, let's see what happens to Joseph. Let's see what happens when those brothers from two weeks ago who sold him into slavery finally come to Egypt and stand before him now as the second most powerful man in Egypt. Watch. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joseph. This is Joseph, hey. who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. But he had 11 brothers who hated him ah. and sold him into slavery. Yeep. After being put in jail, Joseph told of the future of Egypt when he interpreted Pharaoh's dreams, and Joseph found favor with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh made Joseph a leader in his kingdom. Just as Joseph had told the Pharaoh, Egypt had seven years of abundance. Then the seven years of abundance came to an end, and the seven years of famine began, hmm. just as Joseph had said. But the Egyptians had food to eat because Joseph had planned for the famine. There was famine in all the other lands, and many came to Joseph to buy food. There was even a famine in the land that Joseph came from. So when Israel heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent his sons to buy some. Yeah! But Israel did not send Benjamin with the others. Aww because he was afraid that harm might come to him. When Joseph's brothers came to him, Joseph recognized them, <laughs> but he pretended to be a stranger. Aha! So Joseph decided to test his brothers. <clears throat> he had his interpreter tell them to send for Benjamin, who had stayed home. Him. And then he threw his brothers in jail for three days. Aww. On the third day, Joseph let all but one of the brothers take grain to their starving households with the instruction to bring Benjamin back. Aww. But Joseph provided for his brother's journey and gave them grain and silver. The brothers did exactly as Joseph instructed, as they were scared that God was punishing them for what they had done to Joseph so many years before. They traveled home to their father's house, Yippee! then back to Egypt. Now that he had seen that they brought Benjamin, Joseph was overwhelmed, so he released the brother who was still in prison. Yeah. But Joseph decided to play one more trick on his brothers. He sent the brothers away, but told his servant to hide his silver cup in Benjamin's bag. Then Joseph told the servant to go after the brothers and retrieve the cup. The brothers hadn't traveled far before the servant stopped them and accused them of stealing the cup. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Joseph could no longer control himself before his attendants. He made them leave so he could be alone with his brothers, and he told his brothers who he really was. Ta-da! He told them of his life and all he had experienced, and he forgave them for what they had done. God was with Joseph and took care of him and showed him favor. Joseph forgave his brothers. Their relationship was restored. And that is a great picture of what God does for us. We mess up, but God loves us. He forgives us. He restores us. We become a family, a family with God. 
Did you know that? The Bible says that when we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior, we are part of God's family. We are his children, and he loves and cares about us. That's just amazing. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are a God who loves us, who cares about us, who forgives us, who restores us. We ask right now for your blessings to be upon us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come back next week. We're going to continue with more of Joseph. Hope to see you there. But right now, Susan is going to lead us once again in a favorite kid song of ours. So sing along with her today. Well, hello. Good morning. Good evening. Whenever you're watching us, salutations. How's it going? Time to sing. It's prop day here at St. Luke's. This is no ordinary chair, people. This is actually a door that you can go knock, knock, knock on. Ooh, that's a good echo. So find something that you won't get in trouble for that's going to make some noise. We're going to do behold, behold. I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. If anyone hears my voice, if anyone hears my voice and will open, open, open that door, I will come in. That was a good warm up. We got it back in our brains. I think we'll do it again. I'm going to sing it a little lower because that was a little high for this morning. It's morning for me, people. So really, here we go. One, two, three. Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. If anyone hears my voice, if anyone hears my voice and will open, open, open that door, I will come in. Oh, that was better. That was a better one, yeah. I feel like it's been a thousand gazillion years since we've done Ludicrous Speed. So we need to work our way up. We're gonna do one more version of this a little faster, and then we're gonna go, baby. So here we go, ready? A little faster. One, two, three. Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. If anyone hears my voice, if anyone hears my voice, and will open, open, open that door, I will come in. Okay. We got the speed up. The ship's ready to go past the plaid. We're going to hit ludicrous speed. Hold on to your helmets. Here we go! Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. If anyone hears my voice, if anyone hears my voice, and we'll open, open, open the door, I will come in. That was fantastic! Oh, I feel so much better now. I missed our ludicrous speed. And I miss you guys. Hope you're having a great summer. Winter is coming. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.